Hello and welcome to Friday Double Bill and here is our Fatafat review of Piku. Piku, directed by Shujit Sarkar, is a comedy about a dysfunctional family. It's obviously a wonderful road journey. It's also the journey within uh, this incredibly hypochondriac father played to perfection by Mr. Bachchan. I think after a long time, he's in such fine form. And I mean, I was appalled for the first 15, 20 minutes of the film because how obsessed the film is with bodily functions in, you know, excretion mm. primarily. Uh, this is, as they say, a film about motion and emotions. Mm. And I think you got a happy balance of both. And of course, Irfan, who I thought was mercurial in the film, holding his own against Mr. Bachchan, being able to mm. give it as good as he gets. And there you have Amitabh Bachchan, who I think is in the most exciting <laughs> phase of his career. If you compare, to, uh, compare him to what he used to do in the 70s, I mean, <laughs> people are really writing some lovely roles for him. And I would believe it's not even after long. I really liked him in Shamitabh as well. Yes. Uh, in fact, he played a Bengali character, sort of based on Utpal Dutt, in this movie called King Lear, yes. uh, which was directed by Rituporna Ghosh. By, by, I felt he was doing it, you know, a little, going a little over the top. Which is exactly uh, what I'm alluding to when I said that after a while, because, yeah. you know, yeah, he's in fine form. So he's in great form in that sense. But, you know, what's also very interesting, and, and you kind of uh, touched upon it, is how he plays that off with two people who are so understated, both Deepika and Irfan. I mean, these are people, these are actors, at least in this film, who know that less is more. And here's this hypochondriac man who's just giving more and more of the same <laughs> thing. And it, it just plays off so beautifully in terms of, uh, the storyline and the structure of the film, which of course, if we're talking about genre, as, as we mentioned, a dysfunctional family film. We've seen some really fine films of that nature before. I mean, Little Miss Sunshine, you know, somehow reminded me of that in terms of its whole feel and atmosphere. I mean, for me, I think the real joy of this film, there was not just one heroine in Deepika Padukone, but the real heroine of the film to me is the writer, Juhi mm. Chaturvedi, mm. who has not just done the story, the dialogue and the screenplay, which often in uh, Bollywood is done by individuals, uh, you know, they, they, one they, is a they dialogue differentiate writer, right. all of that. And here it's just this one girl and she's, I think, a bundle of talent, just done such a great job. The same one who wrote Vicky Dona, by the way. Precisely. Yeah. And again, Shujit Sarkar. So obviously mm. she's uh, very, very obsessed with uh, bodily secretion. <laughs> of from one end or the other end uh, you know I mean whether it's sperm banks or uh, you know uh, good shit Party, yeah. no, exactly yeah. so uh, you know but but this is it I mean if you can take things like this humanize it have great fun with it and at a point where it is not offensive mm. but actually you know indulgent and these are the quirks and foibles so I thought a great job and I think this marks a, you know a really great arrival of a top-notch Bollywood screenwriter well, this film is about Big B playing the Big Bong and he's at his best. Of course, there's some great performances outside of Big B. There's some great writing, as we mentioned. And there's Shujit Sarkar. I think he's truly the most eclectic filmmaker we have and the least pretentious of them all because he's made four films. All of them are equally watchable. This is as good as it gets. Well, I think you should watch it this weekend, if possible. Otherwise, definitely watch in theatres anyway. So it's clearly a dekho as far as Mayank Shekhar is concerned. Uh, no surprises for guessing. Emphatic dekho, isi hafte dekho, theater mein dekho, aur bar bar dekho. <laughs>